Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. I posted a video last month in April uh, about Windows 11's 22H feature update that could be released sooner than sooner this year in August or September, as opposed to when they generally roll out the H2 updates um, in the second half of the year, as opposed to October or November. And I will leave a link down below to that video if you are interested. Now. The reason for this video is there are now new suggestions in regard to the previous video that now suggest that Windows 11 22H feature update will be made available uh, to the release to manufacturing, which is the RTM build, um, by the e uh, end of this month, May 2022, which is in just a couple of weeks. And in case you didn't know, the RTM release to manufacturing build and builds are basically the final version of the operating system before it rolls out to uh, the general public. And Microsoft does this as an example. They roll out the RTM builds to OEMs, which are original equipment manufacturers. So the uh, these manufacturers can uh, test their devices and drivers and um, update their new devices with the new version of the operating system ahead of public rollout. So, this is also another indication that we could see uh, Windows 11 version 22H2 feature update roll out sooner this year in August and September as opposed to October and or November. Now, as I have posted on previously, if we just head over to uh, Windows blogs, where last week Microsoft rolled out build 22610, which is the latest dev and beta channel inside a build. Um, in the dev and beta channels currently, um, they are testing build, uh, sorry, uh, version 22H2 of Windows 11, which is the next feature update. So in the next uh, week or two, uh, the beta channel could stabilize at a future build, which will roll out in the next week or two. Not this build, but a future build, which would become the build that rolls out in version 22H2 and also the RTM build that rolls out in the next couple of weeks, which means the dev channel then will become a whole new build, which I have posted on previously. And that's where Microsoft could possibly start testing next year's feature update um, features uh, that could roll out in the feature update rolling out in 2023, version 23H2. And if we just scroll down here uh, to one of the bullet points uh, to the changes and improvements, uh, they also removed the watermark at the lower right-hand corner of the desktop, which is no longer present in this build, Microsoft says, which appears here in the desktop on those preview builds, as many of you know. So this is a good indication as well that that has been removed due to Microsoft um, uh, making version 22H2, which is currently being tested uh, in the Insider program, available as the release to manufacturing build, the RTM build, in the next couple of weeks. And they say the watermark will return, so that's possibly going to be in the dev channel where Microsoft starts testing those new features. And then also another reason here is if we just look here, um, there are a lot of fixes which I briefly touched on uh, in my um, uh, the, the, the video I posted on this latest preview build last week. There are numerous fixes that Microsoft is currently testing in both the dev and beta channels. So that means that Microsoft is stabilizing uh, version 22H2 in the Insider program to start rolling out as um, the RTM build and then as the final uh, feature update uh, later on this year. At this stage, looking like it's going to roll out more in August and September as opposed to October and November. And at this stage, we're not going to be seeing, I don't think, too many new features that will roll out uh, in version 22H2 when it does make its way to the uh, public release later on this year, as Microsoft has been updating the Windows 11 operating system with cumulative, cumulative updates since the operating system rolled out in October um, of last year, 2021. And as mentioned, there are a lot of bug fixes, so hopefully uh, with that rollout, we will get a more stable operating system, as when Microsoft did roll out uh, version 21H2, uh, which was the public release of Windows 11 last year, there was a, a lot of, you know, feature updates, you know, to the operating system, the start menu, floating menus, fluent design, and so on. But the operating system was quite unstable, and, uh, and a lot of people feel that Microsoft um, did roll out the uh, Windows 11 operating system prematurely, and basically the public became insiders that tested 
Windows 11, which they updated um, through the months to become the the uh, uh, the build, uh, the stable build to what it is now. So we are hopefully we are expecting to see a more stable version of Windows 11 rollout as version 22H2 later on this year when it does roll out to the general public. But I don't think we're going to see too many new features as those have been uh, been made available in cumulative updates over the last couple of months. But I will keep you posted accordingly. So RTM build possibly rolling out by the end of this month, May, which means we could see a sooner release, possibly in August or September, for the next feature update and first feature update for Windows 11 version 22H2. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.